Welcome back to another Witcher video, by me the Witcher George. So for today's video, I've decided to basically make a video that is covering one of the most common comments I get on my videos, and I think it's because my videos on Gaunter and the Unseen Elder are particularly, I suppose, popular on the channel. So I've decided to make a video today just laying to rest the age-old, very popular, I suppose, Witcher question of who is more powerful, the Unseen Elder or Gaunter Odim. This question is one of those questions that I never really discussed in the past, and always thought about making a video on, but kind of thought, well, if you know about The Witcher, it's pretty obvious who is actually more powerful. But I'll discuss today, I suppose, where most of the confusion comes from and why I think it might arise. So to get straight to the question, who is more powerful, it is Gauntro Dim. Gauntro Dim is the thing, at least out of everything we know in The Witcher universe, that is the most powerful thing in The Witcher. Although Gaunter can be defeated, at least if you beat him at his own game and it's sort of a riddle type thing, I highly doubt, based on what we have seen in the games that he can be killed. As in, if the Unseen Elder were to have a fight with Gauntro Odim, I honestly think even if the Unseen Elder managed to get close enough to Gauntro Odim to attack him, I don't think he would be able to do any sort of actual harm to him. Maybe if the Unseen Elder challenged him to a game of wits and beat him, that's a possibility, but um, I, I, I don't feel like the Unseen Elder would want to even attempt that. I feel like a lot of the confusion for whether the Unseen Elder is more powerful than Gauntro Odim is because obviously in the games, the Unseen Elder can pretty much just kill Geralt without you being able to do anything, whereas Gauntro Dim, obviously you have a way to actually defeat him in the games if you decide to take on his riddle and then beat him in a game of wits. With the Unseen Elder, if you make one wrong misstep, he just immediately kills you. But what you gotta understand is that if Gaunter actually wanted to kill Geralt, just straight up wanted to kill him, it would be done without Geralt even knowing. At least with the Unseen Elder, there is a slim chance. Gaunter can literally freeze time. <laughs> I mean, Gaunter talks about it in the games, but he effectively can control time to an extent. At least that's what's implied. Although Gaunter could be lying, you never know all that sort of thing, but he does show that he can at least freeze time. So, you know, you basically just don't stand a chance. You would not stand a chance against Gaunter, whereas at least with the Unseen Elder, there would be some sort of chance. There would be, you could at least move. I mean, as I said, I feel like if the Unseen Elder tried to attack Gaunter, Gaunter would just not even be able to be injured. I, I don't think Gaunter can be harmed by just normal, even if it's, I, I was gonna say mortal, but I guess it would be immortal. Uh, weapons, he just, he, he would be fine. There would be no way you could actually do anything to Gaunter if he didn't want you to. I think the only way you defeat Gaunter is via a riddle, or maybe there are some other methods we don't know, but let's just say that there's no way the Unseen Elder is going to actually realistically defeat Gaunter if he tried. It's just not going to happen. But that's it for today's video, guys. This is sort of one of the reasons I haven't discussed this subject in so long, despite it being something that people have asked me about for years at this point, just because I knew it would be one of those videos where I can't really sort of go into it too much. It's just, if you have played the games and you know the characters, you will know that Gaunter cannot just be killed. At least, I'd say that the implication is pretty much there. No one has ever gotten close enough to actually kill him or seem to attempt to, but I just don't think it would happen. I just don't see it happening. I don't think he's the sort of thing you can kill. I think he can just be sort of defeated in riddles, sent away for a bit, then he'll come back. I, I think he's far more in depth than that, and I've made loads of videos about Gaunter. And uh, the Unseen Elder, as powerful as the Unseen Elder is, very, very powerful as an individual, I don't think he even stands a chance. Like, not even a chance. But yeah, I hope you've all enjoyed today's video. I've just made this video just to sort of set this to rest for you guys that have been asking me about this, and maybe just use this video as a way to point people in the direction of what the actual answer is, if if they may be commented again in the future. So um, yeah, I'm glad I've discussed this. One off the checklist, one off the sort of list of lore videos. I thought, yeah, I'm gonna have to make that at some point. And uh, yeah, that's it for today's video, guys. Thank you for watching so much. Be sure to like to support this sort of content and let me know you enjoyed today's video. I also make Witcher videos every week, so be sure to subscribe for that. I've also been making some Middle Earth slash Lord of the Rings lore videos on my second channel, Ranger George. So if you wanna check out that, they're basically the same as these videos, but it's on a different fantasy world. So if you interested in that be sure to go check that out as well really do appreciate it guys but that's it for today's video and i will see you all in the next one have an awesome rest of the week